What up everybody, welcome to Fishing with Jet. Hey, I got a quick one for you today. Gonna show you some more things on the Pelican Bass Radar that, you know, some of y'all may have encountered over the time. I've gotten random questions about one specific thing on the Pelican Bass Radar that uh, people have had problems with. And I too, just like them, have had those same problems. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. And that very problem is the front transom the smaller like transom that's on the on the front for some reason i don't know why they made it like this uh but you can you know just by looking at it with the naked eye you can see the difference in the two transoms your, your back transom compared to the front transom the thickness of the metal is really not even close i'm not sure exactly why pelican didn't use the same metal on the front of the boat as they did on the back, making it more sturdier. But here's the problem that I've, I've encountered. The problem that I encountered was that this area of the boat right here, you know, as you all know, I use a 2.3 outboard back here on the back. I always got my gas outboard on the back, but on the front where I do all my fishing at, um, I have a trolling motor. I have a 45 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor that I put on the front transom and it normally stays here at all times. The problem was a couple years ago when I first got the boat, I had an older trolling motor. When I was securing the trolling motor to the transom, I had problems with the trolling motor sliding this way or to the left or right of the transom. And it would typically happen um, when, when you like you, you're trying to make a turn in the boat and you turn a trolling motor on too high in the in the turn and it would cause it to slip you know because you know it's not like the forward and backwards of it so what i done was i started tightening down on the knobs to secure the trolling motor to the transom better than i had it the thing that happened was this transom in the front right here became warped um not sure exactly what material is up underneath the boat in the hull of the boat that actually gives you the shape of the transom i imagine it's some type of wood and who that made it rough for me to keep a trolling motor on my boat. So after fishing several other times, I said, man, I got to do something about this. This is not going to work. It keeps coming off. This is a problem. Um, this metal right here is way too thin. It's not strong enough. That back transom, that's the same thickness metal they should have put on the front too to, to allow yourself to really wedge down on this. So I had to, I had to do something about it. So what I did was I went to my local Lowe's. I purchased what they call a strap tie. What a strap tie is, it's a flat piece of metal that they use in construction of homes and small buildings and stuff like that to, uh, I guess, you know what I'm saying, to secure the wood and make sure that, that it doesn't have a, a weak spot in it. I took that piece of metal. I got lucky. If you managed to get the one like I got, the holes actually lined up perfect with the holes of the uh, transom of the boat. So what I did was I took it and I put it on the front. I removed uh, the four bolts that hold the transom together. I pulled this off and I basically took that tie strap and put it right here, slid my transom on top of it. If you look at it, it's pretty well snug in there. And I basically ran my two bolts to it. If they don't line up, you can take a drill or something like that with a metal bit or whatever and drill you some holes to line your holes up shouldn't be that hard after securing it back on both sides i was able to fix the problem and strengthen my transom so it allowed me to tighten down my trolling motor more securely on my boat where i don't really have all of that swinging left to right left to right from it and I ain't gonna lie, it, it has worked like a gym. I, I don't have any problems with it. It fixed the problem that I, I created, and at the same time, it fixed the other problem that I was having. So, if anyone out there have encountered this problem, and I know it's gotta be some people out there that have you know, encountered this or had problems with their trolling motor on the front, not really staying secure. Just go buy you a same thing that I have right here. Take your screws out, slide it underneath, Secure it back, tighten it down. It adds extra strength to this transom and allows you to really, really anchor down. Now, 
I very seldom have my trolling motor uh, slide left or right. It just does perfect. It, it makes for a whole new fishing adventure. You know, being able to stand on the front of the boat and fish and turn the boat and do the things that you want to do to when you want to do them without any kind of difficulties. All right, with that being said, hey, um, like I said, it was short and sweet. Not gonna hold y'all up. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for, for hanging out with me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back at y'all on the next video. Y'all have a good one.